Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to ask you a contrasting question. Do you know what is the difference between good guys and girls versus God's guys and girls? What's the difference between a good guy and a God guy or a good girl and God's girl? Well, if you'll look at Psalm 119, verse 129, I think you'll find the principle that is consistent throughout all of God's word that will point to, at least in part, the answer. You see, it's Psalm 119, verse 129, that says, Your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. It's God's guys and girls that keep his testimonies. It's easy to be a good guy or a good girl when you just focus on being moralistic or doing that which the world and the culture says is, quote, good. But the reality is there are no good guys and there are no good girls aside from the God who makes us good, aside from God and his grace, his purifying gospel, there is no good alone and away and separated from God. It's God's people, it's God's guys and God's girls who have been captured by his grace, transformed by his gospel, and they live out a love of God for God and in God that keeps, not perfectly, but passionately, his testimonies, his truth in love. We, God's family, God's guys, God's girls, we do our very best with our soul, all of who we are, to live out a love affair in and for our living God. We live out his word, his will, and his ways passionately. We do our very best to keep his testimonies because we know that he and his word are wonderful, filled with the wonders that lead to our worship, that become our very witness to the world. Amen and amen.